my name is John Simmons. I'm Stuart Dell. And I'm Jamie Joyce. And the book is called Keeping Mum. A, a, a novel, a collective novel in 15 voices by Dark Angels. Stuart and I had memories of William Faulkner's book, As I Lay Dying. And the great advantage of that book is it's told in the voices of the different characters. So it, it seemed to offer the possibility that we would get over that problem of how do you pass the story from one person to another. And so we gathered in Balaville in the Highlands and started the process off. The job we had to do at Balaville was to try and assign the characters to the 15 writers and then give them time, first of all, to develop their characters. Uh, and then to start the most complicated bit, to look at how the characters interlead in, in order to move the story forward, so how each character then spoke. We met in March last year, and it's now the end of April. So from conception to publication, less than 18 months. Hot off the press, hot off the press. Great cover, 15 authors. That is a quite uncommon sight, I would imagine. There are not many works of fiction signed by 15 authors. We think this is a world first. This is, is, is more than just a book launch, because it's also our 10th anniversary of Dark Angels. And uh, that's a wonderful thing in itself. We've brought through the programme over 300 writers over those 10 years. We've run some 40 courses. And we've created a loyal following as well, as you can tell by the, the gathering here tonight. So we've got more than 70 of, of the alumni of the programme are coming together for the evening here. And we're looking forward to a great time. Do you need to go and launch this book? I think we probably do, yes. So we're going to do a 10 minute version of Keeping Mum. And we're going to do it through the voices of the different characters. And I'm Mark, and I write the part of uh, PC Davy Lachman. I'm Julian, and I'm Dr. Simpson. I'm Claire, and I write the part of Philip. Hello, I'm Martin, I write the part of Solomon White. They say you should walk towards the light. Well, I didn't. I fled. I ran away from it. I pushed the light back, and it splintered in my hands like glass. I thought I might be dead. So get this. Mum died in Scotland. Don't know what she was doing there. She never goes to Scotland. You won't believe this. I posted on Facebook and 17 people liked it. <laughs> they roll into the hotel car park in a ramshackle van of catanacs, driven by his rather gormless looking stepson. Presumably they'll have Iris's coffin at the back. And I can't help feeling a pang that this halting, faintly disturbing exchange will be the last time I'll have anything to do with them.